Well, hello, fellow Skylines players, and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. I am Flybox, and today we'll be doing a dog bone or dumbbell interchange. Uh, I really appreciate you making your way back over here. This is episode three in the mini series. I'm not really sure how much of these episodes I'm going to do. This might be the last one uh, on smaller interchanges. I am not sure yet, but for now, let's jump into the dog bone interchange right here. All right, so what we want to do once again is we want to go to the medium roads and have the avenue. First off, let's actually lower the elevation step once again. That should be step one all time, anytime. Uh, all right, let's create a bridge. Now we can go pretty close to the highway. Actually, let's go up by four. We can go really, really close to the highway because we don't need any connections which go underneath the avenue. All right, now let's go out by 12 just to create that smooth slope right here. Let's go out by 12, out by another 10. Let's actually, let's make it five. Let's go out by five only here. Let's delete that. We'll go out by five. There we go. Nice. So we are left with this. What we want to do now is create two roundabouts at either side of this avenue road right here. All right, here we go. So this should be how it looks right here. Uh, we can also uh, anchor the roundabout real quick. Let's actually do that because you don't want it to transform, basically. Please let me anchor this. Thank you. We'll take those roads out in just a second. So there we go. Nice. So we have something to work with. Anchor points galore. <laughs> Now, we can actually go to the highway ramp right here because what we want to do now is connect these points with the highway, or like so, uh, this one as well, and this one, and this one. Now, if you want, you could basically just do it like this. This, this will work fine. You can, however, also do something like this. So you'll go to the freeform, and you'll just have some gently curves in here can use some road guidelines, sure, why not? That's why they're there. There we go. Now this is very, very huge, but that is fine. And there we go. This is basically it. So obviously this is way, way oversized. You can make this bridge a bit smaller here. You don't have to go out by 12. We went out by 12 units to go down. That is not necessary. You could have the roundabout start like right here as the bridge elevates just to make it a bit smaller, a bit more compact. Um, but yeah, this is basically it. So if you would think that Let's continue this road here. So there we go. All right. So you're a car. Once again, <laughs> you are driving here and you want to just go straight. You go in the roundabout, you exit here, boom, in the roundabout, exit here and you go straight. Easy as that. If you want to go right, you can drive here into the roundabout, hang a right, merge safely with traffic and you're on your way. If you want to go left, go through the roundabout, make your way over the bridge, go through the roundabout, exit here, and make your way over. If you're on the highway and you want to exit to the right, just use this exit ramp and leave the roundabout right away and to the right. If you want to go left, you leave this exit ramp, you make your turn around the roundabout, the bridge, roundabout, and you're on the left. And the same goes for this side right here. So. Uh, very basic, uh, can handle like small to medium traffic uh, overall. The bigger you built it, the more traffic it can handle. Of course, the bigger the better, <laughs> I guess, in this game. So uh, let's decorate it up a bit and um, I'll see you guys then. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, the dog bone or dumbbell interchange 
I have also added the usual decorations, rock formations, trees. I've added these really cool antennas in the roundabout. They are from the Natural Disasters DLC. Again, the barricades on the highway ramps, just for good looks. Uh, I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Tell me if you have tried to build this yourself. Tell me if you made any modifications to make it maybe better. I don't know if this is like not my tutorials are not like the best way to do these intersections, but they are a way to do the intersections. You can totally customize them, make them fitting to your city if you like. Uh, I really love to read everything about it in the comments. Uh, and if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. So you stay safe and take care. Goodbye.